then later on, in 1985, Kunsa joined it. The Shans were so desperate in those days. They wanted to be uh, out of the Burmese control. They wanted to set up an independent state. They asked for help from the West. They didn't get it. They asked for help from China, and China said, you have to work with the Communist Party of Burma. And the Communist Party of Burma said, you have to accept the principle that Burma is indivisible, and you have to accept the proletarian leadership. It became the Shan State Revolutionary Council. They readopt the name SSA for a while competing with the original SSA, that we are the real SSA. You are not the real SSA because you have joined the communist cause. It was fun. <laughs> when Kunsa joined us, the reason was uh, the Shans were desperate in those days. Like I said, we asked for help from the West, nothing came. And then from the communist part, uh, from the Chinese, it's the same. They were not interested. So, so there was only one way. Kun Sao was offering to fight for Shan independence. He had the money, he had the guns. What he needed was only the people who were join it as fighters. He said that he was half Shan. I mean, I'm three quarters Shan. Mm -hmm. If I can love sh the land of the Shans, so can he. Mm -hmm. Also, um, he he couldn't go anywhere, like he said. If he comes to Thailand, he would be arrested. He is not also wanted in China. He could go back to the Burmese, but he don't doesn't want to. He would be only playing second field to up to the Burmese military. Yeah, he didn't want that. The only way out for him was to fight for a homeland of his own. So many people thought that we should deal with him later on. But now, uh, let's fight with him. So we joined together and then Within 10 years, no? from 1885 to 1995, the combined army from 2,500 in 1985 became 25,000. It covered two-thirds of the whole Shan area. It's about 160,000 square kilometers. But then, within a year, it collapsed to nothing because... Um, Kun Sao was building it, not on an ideal, but only on an idol. That's mm. him. Yeah. I was a translator for him. Yeah? And we were already given this Shan Herald Agency for News, we were, the permission to set up our own. It was nice of him anyway. I, I still think that, that he had a hand yeah, in building up the news agency. Mm -hmm. Only he was a weak person. He had no bottom, no, no weight. Uh, very lightweight. When the uh, going gets tough, he gave up. In June, they call it the D-Day mutiny you know, because it happened on the 6th of June. One of the officers mutinied with only 60 troops. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, hundreds and thousands flocked. Uh, over to the guy, and he set up his own army, Shan State National Army. And then he met the Burmese officers, and then concluded a ceasefire with them. And within the year, the, M the Mung Thai army collapsed. Khun Sa had no choice but to surrender to the Burmese uh, with the remnants before everybody deserted him. He was afraid of that because if he were left alone, then he wouldn't have anything to
to uh, bargain with the Burmese anymore. The current conditions were that he would not be put on trial mm -hmm. for any wrongdoing. He wouldn't be uh, sent to the United States or anywhere he is wanted. Well, the Shan people, that doesn't come into the deal. Uh, it was only for number one. Uh, the good thing was that he let us out because some were killed during the confusion. Some who disagreed with Kunsa, but, but we were allowed to go. So we left and have continued working. He betrayed the cause. But as a human being, I can forgive him, of course, you know, personally. But I, what I feel about him doesn't count. It's what the other people, the, the people in general feel about him that will come when it comes to, say, the Judgment Day. The Shans at first thought that they could do with it anyway, no? Mm -hmm. Because nobody really cared. It was only publicity. No? The Americans really didn't want him. That's what they thought anyway. And if Shan State become independent or become uh, recogni recognized as an equal state in a new federal union, then everybody would forgive him and that's what they thought. We didn't wait for the surrender but to be asked for permission, he gave it and then we drove out. We came into Thailand and been, we've been working since to inform the world about the chance and a chance about the world and about themselves. <laughs> we really need to do that because we need uh, sympathy and assistance to let the world know that the, not all the chance are contrasts. They are just people like you or me.